Welcome to this video which is all about the 7-day NHS proposals that Theresa May is currently putting forward. Okay, so just to start off with, what do you know about the proposals for a 7-day NHS? Have a go by pausing the video, record yourself and listen back to it at the end. So the 7-day NHS, so the government feel that the lack of, there's a lack of low quality service on Saturday and Sunday compared to the rest of the week. They rely on this study, which suggested that patients admitted on the weekends have a 15% higher mortality rate than patients on the weekdays. Now, a lot of people have disputed this survey and suggest that, you know, it doesn't consider all factors. Theresa May wants local GPs to be open Saturdays and Sundays, and for longer hours as well. They're also addressing the opt-out option for consultants in the contract. This allows them to not have non-emergency work on the weekends. They're looking to change that as well. Doctors really weren't happy with this, in particular GPs who weren't happy suggesting that Saturdays and Sundays GPs should be open. The Royal College of GPs suggested it will be unachievable and it will destabilise other services because of the reduced money in the NHS budget. Doctors started a trend on Twitter, hashtag I'm in work Jeremy, to show the health secretary that, you know, they're still working on the weekends as a sort of protest. Um, and it's thought to lead to a reduction in medical school applications as well and doctors resigning because several doctors, you know, they find it impossible to cope with the workload and with increased targets, they're more likely to burn out and again, will affect patient care. Currently, the government is in negotiations with the British Medical Association, the Union of Doctors, who are against the idea. The government has said they're ready to carry out imposition if the BMA are willing to negotiate. This means that the government will do what they feel is necessary, even if the BMA um, feel it's not. And Theresa May has promised about half a billion pounds a year to help achieve the goal of enabling all surgeries to be open 8am to 8pm from 2021, unless GPs can prove that there's no demand for this. There's been mixed views on this. For example, Stephen Orr Hawking has spoken out against this agenda and feels that the government has been cherry-picking scientific evidence to support their policies looking specifically at this study in particular. There's a really good talk that Stephen Hawking has done here where he talks about this study in particular and how it's been cherry-picked. So I really recommend you try and find that. What do you think? Do you think there should be a seven-day NHS? They might ask you this. So have a go. So obviously there are two sides to every argument. On the one hand, there should be a seven-day NHS because patients do get poor service on the weekends. If there were more doctors working on weekends, it could reduce this. Also should be a seven-day NHS because they can currently opt out of working on emergencies. And, you know, if they can do that, that's not really fair. On the other hand, there already is a seven-day NHS, people would argue. There's already out-of-hours arrangements that are predominantly led by local doctors for patients who need urgent care. Services are already stretched as well. People feel that opening surgeries for routine care could mean that resources for other services that you know that you need money for are reduced. GPs and other doctors argue that it would be better to improve access to things like MRI scans and CT scans rather than just increase the number of doctors on the weekend. Okay. Hopefully that gave you an insight into the seven-day NHS argument. Thank you for watching this free tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock 100 tutorials on topics such as MMI, Oxbridge, NHS structure, work experience, personality and much more, click here now.